Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see 11 keyboard shortcuts in the Windows 11 operating system. So this is the Windows 11 developer version. So here we am going to provide the 11 keyboard shortcuts. Well, let's get started. So the first keyboard shortcut we are going to see is the Windows plus S shortcut. So just press the Windows plus S key. So once you have just pressed it, now you will get the uh, customized searching option. So this is a customized search option. So here you have to, in case if you want to or uh, one of the app means so you can easily search uh, the list of available apps in your uh, desktop and as well as you can also search for the web also so like uh, other games in case so you can search the web also easily also you can search for some of the system settings also i am just searching for the dark so here is a dark mode color settings so it will instantly go to that setting option and here i am just uh, switching to the dark mode so like that you can able to search uh, all the uh, things it says smart search you can uh, search your folders files and you can search the web and you can search the system settings and all the things you can able to made using this windows plus yes shortcut key and also there is some of the tabs here apps documents web more so by selecting this also you can able to do this and at the right side here is the options so here is the search settings so by going to the search settings so here is the, some of the filtrations so I'll serve searching cloud content search and uh, history of searching so you can able to clear the history also so like that uh, searching settings is also available now the next shortcut key is windows plus w so once you press the windows plus w you will get the widget screen so this is the widget screen so here you can able to find the weather information and the latest stock uh, list and uh, calendar and also you can able to add the uh, different widgets so you can customize your widgets as per your wish so it is a top stories and some of the articles also you can able to find so all the things you can able to make during the with this widget shortcut so it is actually connected with your uh, microsoft account so you can also select the uh, different widgets so here is a to do widgets also so once you just uh, tap this to do widgets now the to do widgets is actually comes so here you can able to make all the to do list contents so already you have made some of the uh, list means you can able to find in the uh, widgets option you have to just press the windows plus w and here you can able to access all the widgets and as and uh, also you can able to personalize uh, so different content based on your uh, wish for example if you are not interested like this article means so you can just uh, tap on these three buttons and uh, click on the fewer stories like this and uh, all just click on this this story will be hidden from your uh, widget and also you can manage your uh, topics uh, by just going here so by just logging to your account you can able to manage what are your interested topics so by just selecting that based on that topic you will get some of the stories in the widgets now the next uh, keyboard shortcut is uh, windows plus shift plus s so just press windows plus shift plus s now it's a personalized screenshot so using this you can able to take a particular part of the screen as a screenshot and also there is a pre-made some of the shapes also so it is a rectangular shape and it is a freeform shape so uh, the freeform snipe is a, you can draw as per your wish and this is the window snipe and this is the full screen snip so once you click on this the, the full windows is actually taken a screenshot and uh, it is a rectangular shape and here you can uh, draw a rectangular shape as per your wish so that's it once you have made now the snip has been taken so here you can uh, again clicking that so here is uh, the latest screenshot you have taken and by here you can able to save the screenshot or else you can uh, make a another screenshot also and after that here is a save option just click that and you can able to save your screenshot as per your location now the next uh, keyboard shortcut is windows plus v so this is a clipboard shortcut 
so here you can able to uh, once you are turned on means and in case if you are already copied some of the text means so that text will be shown here so like if you are in a social media so if you are actually typing something some content means you can copy the text that copied content is actually saved in the clipboard and after that you can use that uh, copied content in somewhere else also so like that in case if you are copying uh, two to three more uh, contents like that means you can uh, save all the contents in the clipboard and in case if you want to use the same content in somewhere else or somewhere time also you can is use that content in this clipboard so once you have tapped the windows plus p here is the clipboard so just click on the turn on and that's it now whenever you are copying some of the content so that content is actually listed here for example i have a search results here i am just copying some of the text here so that is useful for me so i am just copying this text and just copy it now press the control windows plus b so that that copied text is actually found here and i also have some other uh, thing also i want to copy so i am just copying this and now after pressing the windows plus p so that content is also available here in case if i want to use this content i can able to use in next day or in the future also i can able to use the same content using this clipboard settings so you can manage this clipboard settings using this windows plus b keyboard shortcut well guys now the next keyboard shortcut we are going to see is windows plus h key so this windows plus h key is a voice typing feature so that means your speech to the text translator that is so in case if you are actually working in your uh, word document or in some other uh, typing work you are doing means so that time you can easily press this windows plus h key so once you have pressed that so here is a voice typing feature so in if you have, you have to connect your microphone and after that by just pressing the windows plus h key it uh, start uh, listening for uh, your words so what are all you are speaking so that will be written as a text and also it has a multiple features like so in case if you want to pause means you can again use the same windows plus h key so this will actually first of all start listening and again clicking on the windows plus h key so it will goes to the pause mode like that you can easily may able to make the speech to text feature and it has also having some of the additional settings also so here is a settings uh, option just click on that and here is a voice typing launcher so just enable that so that means in case if you are whenever you are going to uh, make some of the typing means so that time it will be launched automatically for example if i am going to a blank uh, web browser so whenever you are going to write some of the text so that time the voice typing is actually automatically launched and you have to just need to press the windows plus h key then the voice is actually listening so what are all that you will speak so that will be written as a text now the next keyboard shortcut we are going to see is the windows plus dot so here is a, so this actually enables a, all the emoji option and also a gif options too so in case if you are uh, typing something means so during that time just to press the windows plus the dot key and then you can use some of the emojis as per your wish so you can also use the gif also so based on the situation you can use uh, different gifs and uh, multiple emojis also now the next keyboard shortcut is windows plus l so it's a basic keyboard shortcut so once you have pressed this the windows will be automatically locked and again if you want to enable means you have to put your uh, password now the next keyboard shortcut we are going to see is windows plus uh, tab key so whenever you are pressing the windows plus tab key it actually shows the different desktops so now i am currently using the two types of desktop so desktop one is i am currently in this desktop i am having a uh, some set of different works and the next desktop is the desktop two so here is i am doing some different set of works and also you can create a multiple desktops like here is the option new desktop just click on that and you can able to create a multiple desktop and also you can uh, delete that also so in the desktop one so some setup works and you can also manage the multiple desktop by clicking on the windows plus tab key so here is a list of desktop available so desktop one and then desktop two and here in the desktop uh, managing so you can also change the desktop name also so like for example this is i am giving work and for this desktop i am uh, giving this as uh, personal 
so like that you can uh, choose a different desktop so you can able to manage into the different desktop so using the windows plus tab key so this is a good shortcut so it is actually named as a task view so this is a task view feature so you can able to create a multiple desktop and each desktop you can able to do a unique set of works so this is a new feature from the windows 11 and i also posted a video regarding this task view feature so here will be an icon you can check that video also afterwards now the next keyboard shortcut we are going to see is the windows plus arrow keys so it is a productivity based shortcut so in case if you are using a multiple windows and in case you are using multiple file explorer and all that stuff means you can easily able to do a multitasking using this uh, keyboard shortcuts so in case if you are having a multiple uh, programs like uh, so here is a word document uh, and then the one more thing is that uh, i'm having a chrome browser also so in case if i want to uh, use uh, both the chrome browser and the word document simultaneously means so i can able to split the screen into up to four uh, different division so for, for that firstly you have to open one program so this is a uh, google chrome browser and after that just press windows plus left arrow key it automatically partition to the left side now for the right partition the windows is already asked for which program you want to use so these are all the three programs is already running so one is a word document and file explorer and then a microsoft office so in case i want to use the word document means just click on this and that's it now the now i can able to use the dual programs in same screen so and also i can able to search here some of the thing uh, and at the same time i can able to use this also so and i can able to copy something and i can here i can able to paste that content also so i can like that i can able to do a multitasking using this uh, keyboard shortcut now the final keyboard shortcut is windows plus a key so these once you press the windows plus a key so it actually opens a quick settings so these are all the quick settings in the windows 11 operating system so in the quick setting panel you can able to enable the wi-fi bluetooth airplane mode night mode in case if you want to activate the focus alarm only or focus assistant like that feature you can able to access and mobile hotspot you can able to enable and keyboard layout nearby sharing so casting feature and uh, volume increasing and decreasing mm -hmm. and volume muting so all the things you can able to make in the quick settings so to access this quick settings you can also open the quick setting by hovering your mouse and clicking on that uh, internet access button and then you can uh, and then the quick uh, and then the quick settings will be actually open but using the keyboard shortcut also you can instantly open the quick setting just you want to press the windows plus a key that's it well guys now the next keyboard shortcut we are going to see is windows plus uh, d key so once you have pressed the windows plus d key so in case you are having a multiple programs is actually maximized means all the programs will be minimized automatically and again pressing the windows plus d key and all the minimized programs again maximized so this is the one of the keyboard shortcut you can use in the windows 11 operating system well now guys now these are all the 11 keyboard shortcuts uh, in the windows 11 operating system and in this 11 keyboard shortcuts some of the keyboard shortcuts are comes with a new feature so what are your guys thoughts on this uh, 11 keyboard shortcuts and in case if you are already uh, using this uh, keyboard shortcut means so let me know what are the sh keyboard shortcuts you are using often so let us know in the comment section below in case if you are using other keyboard shortcuts that is not mentioned in this video means so that also you can uh, mention in the comment section below well that's all about this video guys and hopefully if you guys like this video hit the like button and if you guys like to watch my upcoming videos hit the subscribe button below and thanks for watching this video guys